God bless you guys. God bless you guys. God bless you guys. I pray that you all are doing well today. Um, I'm Jamar Grimsley. This is Get Right With God, you guys. Um, and I just wanted to come on really quick for a second. Um, I wanted to talk about the new year because we're about to come into 2021, right? 2020 is maybe a couple of minutes left in it. And um, I just felt led. I was driving and I felt led, like for real, to pull over and just um, try to help you guys. You know, um, I know we all got things that we're battling with and things that we're struggling with and things that we're going through. You know, everybody has something like nobody has their lives all the way together. Right. I just want you guys to know that um, the devil is really out here busy, you know, and he's trying to uh, really kill, steal and destroy like he wants the believers and those that believe in God and those Christians and those ones that are trying to grow in God. He wants to send us to hell. All of us, you know, he, he's not playing with us. And um, I think we play with the devil too much. You understand what I'm saying? We continue to play with sin, continue to play with sin, continue to play with sin. Um, the Bible says when Jesus comes, right? This is Paul. He said, Jesus going to come like a thief in the night, right? And, and I always wonder why they use that analogy, you know. Um, but let me tell you, a thief, when a thief comes, right? This When a thief comes to your house, he's coming to steal so he's not going to come when you're expecting him. You understand what I'm saying? Like he's going to come when you're sleeping. He's going to come when you're not aware that he's coming. You know what I'm saying? A thief, he's going to come. If you're going to rob somebody or just if you're going to rob somebody, would you come when you know they awake and you know they alert and they watching and they know you're going to come when they're sleeping, right? When they're uh, not on guard. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like Jesus is going to come just like that. Right in the nighttime is you cannot see at night like it's dark, you know, so he's going to come. You're not going to be able to see him. You understand what I'm saying? You're not going to be able to know. He's not like, OK, um, you know, come, come, come get yourself together. And then I'm coming at two o'clock. So you make sure you uh, live in holy by two o'clock because that's when I'm coming. No, he's not going to it's not going to be like that. He's going to come just like that. So it's like, are you ready now? If he comes right this minute, is your life ready? Are you ready to go? Like, are you ready to go, right? See, the Bible says that uh, God says it's not in his will for any should perish, right? He does not want that for our lives. He wants us to live holy. He wants us to repent. It says, I don't want anybody to perish, but I wish that they may repent, right, of their sins, right? So he don't want anybody to go to hell that is the last thing he wants for any of our lives at all anybody you know so um he's gonna do all he can to try to help us like he'll continue to help us continue to speak through the prophets continue to speak through friends continue to speak through this speak through that speak to your spirit but a lot of times we continue to rebel knowing that he's helping us and then the bible says that um to he who knoweth to do right and doeth it not, that is sin. So it's kind of like uh, we take a lot of times the grace of God for granted and we say, okay, uh, I've just did this and um, I'll just repent afterwards. You know, like like kind of like playing with God. And I was saying how God knows our hearts, you know. So he knows those ones that are seriously wanting to change, but maybe bound, really bound, you know, versus those ones that want to say, okay, um, let me just do this really quick and then I'll repent and then I'll get myself back in right standing with God. And God is merciful. God is kind. God is gracious. God will forgive you. You understand what I'm saying? But he knows the heart. Like, are you going to are you just using him to, you know, like uh, so that grace may abound? The Bible does say that when sin abounds, grace much more abounds. So it is truly the sinner that needs the grace, you know. But not those that wants to take advantage. You understand what I'm saying? But but the moral in the whole thing is this story is let's get ourselves together, you guys. It's a new year. We can't go into the new year with the same old baggage. Like for real. It's ridiculous, you know? Like if you're doing things you was doing five years ago, three years ago, two years ago, even a year ago. Like I was saying, God is concerned with progress. He wants us to grow in him. You know what I'm saying? But he wants us to leave sin alone. God hates sin, you guys. He hates it, sin. You know, he hates it, you know. And we are supposed to hate it as well. You know, we're not supposed to be playing and indulging in it and doing this, doing that. But anyway, my, I want to come on here and I want you guys to 
if you don't mind, if this is okay with you guys, I think it's a good idea. But I wanted to play the um, the salvation prayer, right? Because if it's anything that you've been doing or any situations that you've been in or anything that you know God is not pleased with, let's just repent right now, you know. This is just getting yourself back in right standing with God. I'm saying, Lord, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I, I won't do that again, Lord. I, I didn't really know any better, Father. I'm going to do better. You know what I'm saying? Because when you're living in sin and you're praying to God, do you know he's not hearing those prayers, right? But the only prayer that he hears from somebody that's been in sin is the repentance prayer, right? So I don't know what your issue is, what you may be going through, what you may be dealing with, what you may be battling with. But I do know that it's nothing too hard for him. You know, if God can't do it, it can't be done. And if he does not do it, then it won't be done. Well, yes. We can't do it in our own strength, you guys, you know. But just pray this prayer with me because, again, we're going into a new year. And let's just stay right, like keep ourselves right with God. The name of this ministry God gave me is called Get Right With God Ministries, you know. Tell my people to get themselves right with me and stop playing around. You know, like I said, thief in the night. If it come right this second, are you ready to go? Or do you have some stuff you need to repent for? You know, like I say, he's not going to let you know. Okay, just make sure you got yourself together. I'm coming tomorrow at two o'clock. No, it's just like that. You understand what I'm saying? And like I say, the devil ain't playing with us. Y'all, his time is short. And he's trying to take as many people to hell as he can. Right? So, yeah, you guys, I just want to encourage you guys. And just pray this prayer with me if you've been um, not doing, you know, right, you know, and not living uh, a pleasing life to God and you know um but the prayer just repeat it after me if you want to um get yourself back in right standing with God just say dear Lord I come to you now just as I am you know my life you know how I've lived I repent of my sins please forgive me Jesus I ask that you come into my heart Come into my life. Come live your life in me. Come live your life through me. I believe that Jesus Christ is your son, that he died for my sins, and on the third day he rose. Lead me and guide me, Lord, down the paths of righteousness and do it for your name's sake. Hallelujah. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I just thank you for this moment. And God, those that are watching and even those that will catch this later, Father. You didn't have me do this for no reason, God, but you're trying to help somebody, God. Help us to all get our lives together, Lord. Cover us under the blood of Jesus, Lord. Protect us from anything that the enemy may be plotting and planning and tricking and trying to scheme us with, God. Oh, yes, Father, give us knowledge, God. Open up our minds, our hearts, strengthen our discernment, God, to recognize the devil and not fall for his tricks, Father. I pray that you would strengthen us, God, in the area where we're weak, oh God. Oh, yes, God, if you can't do it, God, Father, then it can't be done. Thank you, Jesus. Father, they didn't have to pray that prayer, God, but they, they prayed it because they know that they need you to step into their lives, God. Oh, yes. And I prayed it for myself as well, God. Lord God, we all got things that we're dealing with, God. And we can't overcome them without you, Lord. Oh, yes, Father. It's not in your will for any to die, God, and go to hell, Father. But repent. Oh, yes. So help us to repent, God, from every wicked way, every evil thing, God, every behavior, everything that's not pleasing in your sight. Lord, help us to give it up in the name of Jesus. And Father, I pray that you would give us resisting power, God, power to resist the temptations of the enemy, God. Lord, I pray that you will remove every person from each and every one of our lives, God, that will hinder our walk with you. It doesn't even matter who they is, God. Oh, yes, but help us to seek first your kingdom. Help us to put you first against anything else, God, that we want to do, God. Oh, yes, God. Oh, yes, Father. Let our lives not be the same, God, after tonight. Oh, yes. We just thank you that it's already done, God. Let there be a fresh anointing that touches your people, oh, God. Oh, yes. A fresh oil, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Thank you, Father. Do it for us now, God. Do it for us now, God. Just as the deer, God, pants after that water brook, Lord. Let our souls pant after you, Lord. 
Oh, yes, give us a hunger and a thirst for righteousness like never before, God. Oh, yes, re refresh our lives for prayer. Oh, yes, refresh our lives for reading your word, God. Oh, yes, I bind and rebuke any spirits, God, in those that are watching, that, that that's in their homes, God. I, I pray right now in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you would send the power and the fire of the Holy Ghost throughout their homes, God, throughout their cars, God. Father, let everything that is not like you that is in their homes, God, in their cars, Lord, let it be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Oh, yes, God, do it for them now, God. Let them go into a new year, God. New attitude, new mindset, God. Stop playing with sin. Ah, give us resisting power, God. Lord, if you can't do it, then it cannot be done, God. So we are trusting and relying on you, God. Help us to live holy lives, God. Those lives that will please you, God, in every area, God. Oh, strengthen us now, God. Oh, we thank you that it's already done, Father. We give you the praise and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Receive a fresh anointing. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. Oh, yes. Y'all, I'm kind of tearing up because it's souls involved. You know what I'm saying? It's not just it's souls, you know? And it's like, if we go to hell, y'all, it's no coming out. Like, it's like, it's, 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 it's not funny because the devil is really... But still, the devil can only influence us, really, you guys. But we still have choices to make, like, decisions is still ours. You understand what I'm saying? So we just got to stop playing. Like I say, I felt led to pull over and do this message, like, you know what I'm saying? So God wants to speak to somebody, you guys. So I pray. I'm going to keep everybody in prayer, you guys. I, I just kind of feel like we a family. I thank you guys for all the support, you know, all the um, love that you're showing me, just, just, you know, the emails, the encouragement. I just thank you guys for all of that. And I feel like God put us together. You know, I really do. I do. I do. <laughs> but, you know, y'all, we, we we bless God on tonight because he's so good to us. But, yeah, y'all, let's just get it together for real. Like, for real. For real. You know, like I say, the devil ain't playing with us, y'all. You know, we give him legal right to enter our lives and stir up stuff, you know. So let's just get ourselves together, you guys. Again, I am Jamar Grimsley. I really do love you guys. Like, I love you guys. All right. Well, you guys take care. I pray that you guys have a happy new year and no drinking champagne. All right. Apple cider. <laughs>